Hi Bree, it's Ava Valentine, hope you're all good. Today I'm doing my April haul. I know I say this every video, but just, just give me a chance. I'm gonna I'm gonna catch up with these hauls, I promise, I swear. I've done my makeup really vampy today, just chilling with my tea. It's lukewarm because it took me so long to set up, but you know, it's fine. We'll just, we'll have to deal with it. So anyway, April haul. I'm gonna start off today's video though with a shout out. This is a sponsor video and I'm working with Opinion Outpost. I have worked with them before, don't worry guys, they're totally legit and it's to help you guys out get some money. Obviously you're watching a haul, you wanna buy some clothes, but you can't because unfortunately money does not grow on trees so I'm gonna hook you guys up today with a way to earn money so basically what opinion outpost is it is a website so you sign up it's completely free to sign up and you basically give your opinion by filling in surveys and then through that you are able to earn money so whether it's an Amazon gift card iTunes gift card or just cold hard cash it's really simple really easy the surveys are just companies are trying to do some market research so it'll be like food companies TV shows movies fashion beauty like that kind of thing and you can choose exactly the surveys that you want to do there's already hundreds of thousand people signed up perfect for doing in your spare time if you've got school you've got uni you've got work take a couple minutes fill in a survey and there you go and it's a really easy way to earn money make sure you guys click on that link go take some surveys and start making some money anyway shout out aside let's get into the haul first up I have some bits from boohoo because I went to one of their events it was a girl gang kind of shoot I did a cool Instagram on it and I just had to choose an outfit for that so first out I picked out a body it's really simple just kind of black super low v-neck kind of thing it's like a shiny-ish material and it's low cut at the sides as well so you get a bit of side boob going on low back as well it's just really nice and that is 14 pounds and then to wear over the top of that to kind of spice it up a bit I got this really cool harness basically just kind of goes around your neck like a choker and down the middle across so it was pretty badass bit of a cool twist to the outfit you know the harness is eight pounds then on the bottoms I wore a pair of black shorts I do have a pair of black shorts already but I really liked how distressed these were and also that they're a little bit longer just because I'm not really too into the hot pants look don't really want to have my bum hanging out of anything so these were perfect and they are 18 pounds then the kind of statement piece I guess to go over all of that I picked up this maxi dress you can wear it buttoned up uh, that's kind of the idea I guess but I completely unbuttoned it and I wore it as kind of like a kimono kind of thing so it's like a sleeveless dress over the top of it but I just thought it was a bit witchy a bit cool and that maxi dress was 20 pounds and then I finished off the outfit with this fedora hat it's got like a kind of plait detail around the top it was a bit different none of my other fedoras have that kind of thing and that is 12 pounds I feel like um kick the PJ doing a slap next up got some bits from Pinko. they're kind of like a gentleman's you know that whole kind of new gentleman movement where it's like kind of dapper really simple designs nice like illustrations typography but they do do like loads of stuff for girls and it's kind of unisex anyway I've been following them for ages like just really big fan of their stuff I love the whole kind of aesthetic I actually love their stuff so much I didn't even pick these I just I was just like here's my dress send me some cool stuff yeah thank you very much so first up I got a t-shirt I actually wore this in my last video I believe it's like a nearly black t-shirt a little bit kind of cut charcoal gray it's got a nice little motif on on the breast area and then on the back it's got a really nice like, kind of print as well uh, it's like a caffeine and gasoline kind of print it's just really really cool tea is amazing quality as well it's super soft and that is 30 pounds next up we have a mug it's kind of like a camping style mug because it's enamel i can imagine just sitting around a campfire at a festival with this just like and again this has got like a skull motif on it and it says death before decaf which is like my life motto who drinks decaf coffee really i should have used it for this video actually i think it's dirty though probably my whole life and the mug is 12 pounds then i got another mug but this one is a travel mug so i can take it out and about with me this was like a godsend because i did have one before but it was a costco one it was like it's like white with a red lid with a huge costco logo on it and i just used it because like i always take my coffee with me in the morning so i'm so happy to have an actual nice one this one just says life begins after coffee i use this every day for uni or like if i'm going out and i don't have time to have a coffee in the morning i just really love it it's, it's such a high quality as well and that is 14 pounds I forgot to mention this one, sorry guys, but I also got this really cool print, which is £12. And last of all from P&Co, I have a key fob. This is a really gorgeous kind of like light leather kind of thing. I've not been able to use it yet because I want to put it on my car keys when I get home, but I've obviously I've been at uni and I just have this gross key fob from uni, so I'm not going to waste this gorgeous P&Co thing on an ugly blue key fob. Again, it's really amazing quality and it's £28 and I believe it comes in other colours as well, like other leather colours. Now some clothes from a website called Hort Extreme. They do kind of like alt kind of clothing, I guess. I think some of the pieces are pretty cool. First thing I got from them is a choker. I think I wore this in one of my previous videos as well. It's like simple black strap with a big o-ring coming down and that is seven pounds five really great price also from them i got a jumper this is like a kind of semi sheer kind of jumper and then it's got loads of distressing at the bottom a nice twist on a basic and i kind of like the sheerness of it you can wear a nice little kind of cage bralette underneath and that is a bargain at 13 pounds and lastly i have another jumper but this one 
is cropped and it's got kind of a cut out on the sleeves as well with a big moon like a full moon print on the front I absolutely love my moon prints you guys know this and that is £18.67 converted from I think it's like Brazilian money I'm not sure but yeah some super cool pieces from there so definitely go check them out now a little something from Cheap Monday I'm a huge fan of Cheap Monday I went to a press day who kind of managed them I guess when we left we were allowed to pick an item so and one of the things that you could pick is a Cheap Monday tee so obviously I was all over that I have so many Cheap Monday tees this one is white with just like a skull print like the typical Cheap Monday skull you guys know the deal I always find the Cheap Monday tees are so perfect to throw on when you're in a bit of a rush or when you just want to be really casual I absolutely love them and they're really affordable as well this one is 20 quid now something a bit cheeky uh, I got some lingerie I guess some people think it's a bit odd to kind of show your lingerie on YouTube but I love seeing people's underwear like in halls and stuff. So yeah, I got a couple of pieces from Playful Promises. First thing I got is this bra. I love the kind of bras with the straps that go up. Obviously this has those. It's got a nice little lacy bit on the cup. I didn't realize when I chose this, but it's a half bra. So your kind of nip just kind of pokes out of it, which is obviously really cute, but I wore this with a super low cut top from MXCI. You might've seen them in my previous haul, but because obviously my nips are kind of out, I had to worry about like it kind of slipping to the side. In that instance, it was a little bit inconvenient, but it's still a gorgeous bra and that is 50 pounds. Also from them, I got a thong. Uh, this does not match the bra I thought I'd mentioned. Posted a picture of my Instagram of it and someone was like, oh, they could have sent you a matching set. It's like, well, I didn't ask for the matching set because the pants are on the back. It literally just kind of goes, the two straps go down and then your butt is just completely out, which is obviously fun for the bedroom and everything, but just a bit impractical really. I don't know. I just kind of, I fancied some more like everyday pants. So I got this really pretty lacy thong, standard, pretty, comfortable, don't, don't really know how much more I'm gonna say about pants and they are 15 pounds. Moving on to shoes now I got some really cool shoes this month. First up I have a couple pairs from Tuck or TUK I used to have some, a pair of TUKs when I was like a little scene kid. Used to absolutely love them and they've really kind of stepped up their game. They, st they sell the little cat ones that everybody had but they have this new nosebead style which I'm so into I got the nosebeads in the kind of buckle Mary Jane version. I do love the Chelsea boots but I don't think they had them in my size. But these are just like super platform. I've got a slightly squared toe which is a little bit quirky but different easy to walk in, really comfortable and I'm um, just all about these and they are 90 pounds and the other pair I got are a pair of creeper sandals if you guys follow my Instagram you know that I wear my creepers like all the time obviously summer's here like hopefully I'll be going on a couple holidays and you know you just you want sandals sometimes so these ones have got like a crossover on the toe with spikes on them so badass I love them so much and they are 75 pounds some more killer shoes now these are from Zuji they are like the absolute dream shoe brand like I just want to buy their whole site because they have like Unif, Jeffrey Campbell and like YRU which is the brand that these shoes are from. I think they're called the Cherish Boot and they're like platform, a huge platform with like kind of bandage details and a padlock and like this kind of bondage kind of o-ring. They're just so, like they're a proper pair of stompers and they're just, oh, I love them. And they also have them in pink velvet. If I had my life together, I would have posted this video to coincide with my giveaway. I ran a giveaway with Zuji, but I, unfortunately it's now over, but I styled up these shoes in an outfit post below and the photos are really cool. So you should definitely check that out. And those boots are 82 pounds. Moving on to jewelry. I have some pieces from Regal Rose. First up, I got this temple ring it's actually called the sorrel ring and i used to have a dog called sorrel and she's my favorite ever 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 and i love the ring as well so obviously i had to pick this one out gorgeous mother of pearl detail and that is 22 pounds next up i have the illuminatus ring this is kind of like obviously like illuminati kind of thing it's got the eye with the triangle and like it's like a signet ring this is absolutely stunning like the detail on it is so intricate and it's real silver i've been wearing this non-stop and that is 38 pounds and last of all from regal rose i have this choker it's just got like an upside down moon on it. it's really cute it's like a kind of filigree kind of style love that a lot and that is 16 pounds and the last piece of jewelry i have in this haul is by people make tribes i've been following this company probably for the best part of like three years i'm such a huge fan of this company and it's because i saw audrey kitching feature them ages ago and she's like just my idol forever i'm actually wearing this ring now and it's a crystal ball ring it took me ages to decide what stone i wanted but i eventually decided on the amethyst you can also get like quartz rose quartz and maybe some others and you can also get them with like a jewel in the middle so it kind of flashes sphere like magnifies the stone in the bottom so yeah the, it, the detail is just incredible and it's real silver and you can get them in gold as well really like therapeutic to have as well because like the stone it actually moves around like you can spin it in the thing it's just oh it's so satisfying if i'm stressed i'll be there just my ring will calm me down and it's called the prophecy ring as well it's such a cool name really great if you're kind of into your crystals as well they are pretty pricey at 299 pounds but every single crystal is hand sourced like the rings are all handmade like in this by this tiny little jeweler supporting independent business i just think is really important and it's just the nicest ring ever and last of all i have a couple beauty things first up is something from urban decay this is just the b5 vitamin spray and it's just like a calming spray it kind of infuses your face with vitamins it really calms down redness and kind of just is a nice base to put your makeup on i spray it before 
I put my makeup on and a lot of the time before I go to bed at night to just kind of soothe any breakout. Big fan of this, big fan of Urban Decay in general really. And that is £23. And last of all in the haul, a couple of things from Dermaquest. I went to the Harley Street Medical Center a little while ago with Kayla. We both got our underarms lasered, laser hair removal. So amazing. I've had one session and it's like pretty much sorted. It's like they've got like the best laser apparently of all of the lasers. So do you recommend for that? I also got a facial. It was like a pumpkin facial. I was so red afterwards, but my skin for the next couple of weeks was just amazing. It's just revelational. I just want facials all the time. But yeah, when we left, we got a couple of skincare products in our goodie bags. The first thing I got is the Essential B5 Serum. I've been using this like ever since I got it. It's intensely moisturizing and it's got kind of vitamins to ease fine lines and wrinkles, keep your skin hydrated because a lot of people don't realize like I have super oily skin. The reason it's oily is because it's dry. So if you hydrate it, it won't be as much of a problem. The glands like are trying to compensate for the dry skin. It's super light on the skin and it helps to promote cell regeneration and that is £61 so it is pretty pricey for skincare, it's premium skincare but I would really suggest kind of talking to someone about it, like getting advised on it because the quality of it is insane. And the other product I got is the Sheer Zinc SPF 30 and it's a day moisturiser with obviously SPF in it. After my facial I was advised to wear sun cream every day for a week or a week and a half. I mean you should really be wearing SPF every day, like most foundations have it anyway, I don't think my foundation does so obviously having this underneath your foundation is super good especially as it's been pretty hot in England recently and even if it's not sunny doesn't mean that there aren't UV rays so yeah this has UVA and UVB protection smooths and heals the skin and also protects from free radicals uh, in the air which is basically like nasties that come onto your face especially living in, in London this is very important for me this is also kind of pricey at £44 but sometimes you've got to spend that extra bit of money on your face you get you only get one face so anyway that wraps up my haul sorry guys camera cut out I had to change the battery so you're in a slightly different setup but yeah before I sign off make sure you guys don't forget about the opinion output click the link below go start doing some surveys making some money also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching leave a comment below with your favorite item or just to say hey if you're not subscribed to my channel already and you would like to be make sure that you click the button wherever it is and i'll see you in my next video bye guys